All right, we're back with the Duke. So, I started on the flooring, got some bead rolling stuff done. Uh, I finished out all the welding. Y'all saw me doing a bunch of welding last week, so no point in doing that again. So I started cleaning up the metal and everything, show y'all what I got going on over here. So, started getting the flooring back in the car, like I said. Now, y'all need to understand something. I am not a bead rolling expert, okay? I can make lines. That's about it, reinforcement. So, got this piece in, got it all cleaned up, did that, put some X, X marks the spot. So we got those. Uh, I'm gonna work on getting these back two pieces cleaned up and then we can work on coming here, cut this one off and stuff. Y'all heard me talk about it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna work on cleaning up these back pieces because they're pretty gross. So we have them over here as y'all seen them before. I gotta get all this flash rusting off and what we'll probably do on these back ones, same thing. We'll do an X and I don't know we might do some straight lines here we'll figure out when we get there but that's what we're doing get ready So, I was cleaning. So, I got the metal ready. <laughs> We're good to go. So, like I said, I'm gonna B-roll these lines and X's and Q's and T's and stuff into this metal so we can get it welded into the car. Now, my B-roller, bead roller is very cheap. It's like, it was like 200 bucks from Jags, so it's like an 18 inch throat depth. Works good for what I'm doing. See, just manual hand crank, just whip it, whip it real good. So, that's all I got. So, now you get to watch me do some bead rolling, and then we'll get to the fun stuff and we'll start welding stuff into the car. Mm, make it look like a car again. Cause there for a little bit, she was looking like a skeleton, looking kind of bad. Don't tell her I said that. So, do some B-roll. Usually helps when you clean up before you start. So, all we're gonna do on this one, not even gonna measure it out. One, two. Simple. One, two. And then up here, we're gonna get fancy, and we're gonna do an X. Once again, one. Two. Easy as that. I say that before I even start. More than likely, it's not even gonna work. So. Take this, get it centered up, run this down until it touches. One, two. Always remember how many turns you go. Because otherwise, yeah. <clears throat> I thought I had it upside down for a second. Which I'm pretty sure I do, because I'm pretty sure on the other ones I made the indentions go down or up heck I don't know guys it'll be fine okay if you don't tell nobody I won't tell nobody so do it again until it touches one two and then you crank it Try to follow your line. I learned on these bigger panels. 
See, look, you see what I just did? I was talking to y'all and did that. It's fine. I ain't too worried about it. So now. So I just noticed a problem. I don't know if this is gonna fit through that throat. We'll try. One, two. Sort of fits. It's getting hung up. That's gonna be a bad one. self tapper not that one because I dropped it and please hold I get a battery oh not moving I swear I kill more batteries than anything anyways moving on get our first hole lined up Self tapper. Self tapper. You'll get the idea, don't you? Help if I had a ground, huh? Guys, am I by no means telling you how to build a floor. This is just the way I know how to build a floor. You might have a better idea, but it's too late to tell me your idea on this one because I already started. Maybe the next one, let me know. stop it there for tonight all my batteries are dead so uh, I can't drill any more holes so I tell you what we'll pick this up first thing in the morning how's that sound you gotta live with it
So I've decided that I'm gonna take this opportunity to do some different B-roll. See what else I can come up with. Uh, I know the general terms for some of these. Like this one is a uh, step die. I was thinking of a tipping die. But, give it a whirl and see what we can come up with. I'm sure somebody out there is like, oh wow, he's using it wrong. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably am. Like that. I don't feel that was tight enough, so. Go a little tighter. Lucky for me, most of this is covered with sound deadener. So, it kind of <laughs> saves my embarrassment. Well, lucky for y'all, y'all know it's there. So all I did for my pattern, I outlined the, uh, the framing underneath. And I just use that to follow. Keep it simple. What's that saying? When they call it KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. So that's where we're gonna go. Keep it simple, stupid. I mean, it's gotta... Okay. It's there. She got, a, she got a beat in her. One. Two. Let's see. Well, here we are. We got a floor in the car. And I tell you what, I have spent a lot of time on this. But, it's all worth it. As you can see, no, I'm not being weird, but I did a little bit of uh, learning with the bead roller, like I said earlier. It is what it is serves purpose good and tight so the Duke has 75% of the floor next we're gonna work on the back area but I gotta do some measuring all that stuff for the uh, the cross bridge for the springs gotta make sure all that stuff goes through the floor and everything so there you go the Duke got floored I'm going to get something to eat. I'm starving. <laughs>